spoke to um, Sub Zero, good pal of mine. Uh, how would you go about um, explaining it? And he was like, "Oh, it's that's tough, mate. That's a tough." E yes. Then what is going on? Um, back with another video this week. This week, obviously, it's Christmas Eve right now. Um, so the Santa hat is on. Um, and yeah, just back with another video I want to um, talk about. It's going to be more of a talky one today. How do you go from a 16 bar loop into a full track? Or just how do you progress from a 16 bar loop? So um, yeah, this is my take on it. Um, I hope you get something from it. Um, and yeah, just want to like start by saying this is just how how I do it. I spoke to uh, Sub-Zero about this as well, just to get some get some insight. Hold on, let me just... Uh, the old, the old fan heat is coming on. Um, yeah, I spoke to um, Sub Zero, good pal of mine. Uh, how would you go about um, explaining it? And he was like, "Oh, it's that's tough, mate. That's a tough one." So this one is, <laughs> this one's mainly gonna be just my view on it, um, and yeah, and just what I do. Um, also, do try to stay to the end. I'm gonna show you uh, an exclusive track that's coming out on the eighth of January. Um, something brand new. I'm gonna show you the arrangement on that and what I did with that. Um, to uh yeah to try and progress from us from the 16 bar loop that i had so yeah stick around for that at the end um, so first one obviously get your own method and that's obviously easier said than done but it just comes with experience um i dive into my drums uh what do i mean by that so like i'll just just focus if you're like if you've got an eight bar or a 16 bar loop and you're vibing and you're like where do i go from here just have a look at your drums rather than be like oh let me see how much different stuff i can do in serum just go into your drums and be like, add something organic. What do I mean by that? I add a fucking violin, or uh, add a add some add some little clicks here and there, or add some percussion, something like that, uh, or add some extra hats, and obviously EQ them accordingly. See drum video, um, and uh, and yeah, just and from there you might find something sparks, and you might want to alter something um, in the synth. And then just go from there um, and you should have a vibe and then just, you know, but just push on. Um, sometimes it is important to push on rather than just give up and stop. There's a, there's a really a fine balance between it. Um, but if you think you've got something good, then um, it shouldn't feel like a chore to just carry on and do it. Sometimes it will feel a bit like that, but, uh, but it's different tunes come out in different ways. Um, and also... Yeah, 16 bars, it, that's a long time. Like, we're not talking about a little, like, four bar or eight bar loop here. 16 bar is a, is a long time. So think about it. Is it, um, is it interesting enough if it was just, if you had no synths in there, could you listen to those 16 bars for the whole tune? If not, why not? Um, and just, yeah, add something, add something that is, if you just take the synths away, mute the synths and be like, can I listen to this, like, on repeat and me not going crazy and it's often it's quite hard to to say that so yeah try and make it interesting without the synths um because if you could if you can manage that then you know that the the tune is uh good enough to you know it's just good enough to listen to um so yeah and 16 bars is a long time so normally i struggle like on the sometimes i've i have struggled on the eight bar i'll be in an eight bar loop and just like bouncing around but if you've got 16 bars um, and then you don't know where to go afterwards, then just, um, yeah, just take out the synths and ask yourself if it's interesting enough and just, just play around with different stuff. Again, don't stack a shitload on there, but just, you know, add some characteristics. Has it got enough effects? Has it got too much effects? But again, it's all subjective. Like, you know, I like doing the mix down videos because there's more, there's kind of more set rules with that. You know, you can't put a fucking reverb on a sub and stuff like that. You know, there, there are rules because you, you just, you can't otherwise, you won't be able to achieve a good mix. But with with the creation process, it's so subjective that who am I to say uh, this is the way to do it or whatever. So um, I just urge you, just find your own, um, find your own method and then expand from it as well. Don't just stick to it, but just expand and see where you can take that. Um, and also don't let the most fun part bog you down. Like what I mean by that, like the arrangement part, once you've got your 16 bars and you're vibing, the next bar, the next part should be really fun. Like if you've just got your 16 bars, yeah, like enjoy the next bit, enjoy making the variations, 
does it does it need to go up an octave? Does it need to go down an octave? Do you need to introduce um, something like a, a fifth or or a fourth uh, in there, like in the scale, or uh, or like a minor third? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, just have have a play around um, and see see what works um, melody wise, um, and just leave no stone unturned, you know. Um, and also, yeah. Just uh, if you're if you're struggling to get past the the sixteen bars, focus on the eight. You know, reverse, come back a bit. Um, focus on the eight, and also if you've got like sub in there, if you've got like sub synth and drums. Um, again, I know I've said this earlier. Mute the mute the synth, and then get your um. If you've got like a MIDI keyboard, great. Get that out, and just have a jam on like a on another serum or another synth or or even some something more organic like a piano or um something that's not in the tune already and just like or a pad pads are nice i i uh, to do that what pads go with it you know and start building your intro over your sub so that you know if you're not good with keys and music i'll be honest i'm not like musically trained or anything um just use your ears you know get a pad out or get some get some plucky synths or something and play it over your sub and you'll know if it's in key do you know what i mean because you you'll play the pad if it sounds shit then it's not in key so you have to find another note do you know what i mean like so rather than you being like oh is it d sharp d sharp and just copy in the midi just play play the instrument um first and see where you can go from that um and then yeah you'll probably build your intro from there and then once you've got your intro and your 16 bars you know um you're well on your way to finishing that tune um and then and maybe making something um a bit more uh creative for the breakdown or if it's even going to have a breakdown also another thing i know this is a really talky one i've i tried not to i didn't want to make this drag on another thing um yeah so um you, a lot of you guys would have will be djs before your producers so um if you've been djing a couple of years what you know um put yourself in the DJ shoes. What, like, what would this, how would this mix? You know, if you're struggling with arrangement, how much intro do you want? Uh, how, how long do you want the drop to go on for? You know, um, is this a tune that you'd quickly bring in and bring out? Or is it something that you'd bring in 32 bars, then bang, straight back into um, a breakdown, ready to go for another double? Is that how you mix? Is that how you'd want that tune to be mixed? Um, yeah, I think that part is is slightly important as well. Just think like, just put in your head like well you know what would i what would i what 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 kind of set would this go in like don't don't go too far down that road because um yeah it's not really it's not really about that you're just making the tune but arrangement wise you know sometimes i want the breakdown to start at 2 minutes 12 if it's 174 bpm sometimes i want it earlier um and 2 minutes 12 is that's pretty long if you got a 32 bar intro so um yeah, I like my uh, drops to kind of go on for a long time. Some people just have it bang, 32 of drop or maybe like a, a 64 of drop and then that's it. But um, yeah, have a play around. I'm going to quickly show you um, the arrangement on uh, on a forthcoming tune I've got right here. So here we are on this. Um, this tune is called Stay Away. Um, it's going to be out on the 8th of January. I'm just going to just gonna play it through. Hopefully it won't crash. Uh, I'm just going to show you, just listen arrangement-wise. Um what happens to be Okay, so it didn't crash. Um, and so yeah, what happened there? All right, so in them sixteen bars, we got you go. You got the riff. Um, we got here. Yeah, you got your you got the riff. Uh, oh, there it crashes. Um, and then so you got a riff for eight bars. Then you got the riff again for another eight bars. But it actually switches at eight bars. And then it comes in with some crazy. Um, uh, just like a highly. Um, highly high effects thing what was that i think that's on yeah it's on uh this um 
I don't know why that's not coming <laughs> through there. Uh, but yeah, it all goes mad and twisted into the um, effects send, effects bug. So that's up to there, that's 16 bars of the drop. And then this, this will be after the 16 bars. So then what happens? I add in drums. I add in a little ding, 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 ding. Um, mixed in. Um, please see the uh, my drum mixing video if, for, to see how I've mixed it in. I've not just thrown it in. You know, it's been EQ'd. It's been compressed or whatever needed. Um, and so, yeah, as you can see, I've got extra drums um, just to keep it interesting. Um, there's, there's about like six different snares in here, like for little accents, little snare accent, and little doo -doo, and little, you know, it's not just, uh, it's it's not just the one snare. Don't just think like, oh, you know, yeah, I got that snare and it's sick. Um, let me use that snare for the for the ghost notes. Let me use that snare for the build up. No, use different snares or or don't. Like it's, that's what I do, <laughs> and I think that keeps it interesting. That keeps me interested, and it keeps me making tunes. Um, and um, it keeps me just wanting to be an artist. That's the main thing. You gotta do things that make you want to be an artist still. So, and then yeah, I, just, I I kept the I kept the sub going as it is. Um, do, 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 do. And then I just altered the. This is a thing I do a lot actually. I just, I alter the. I keep the sub going and I alter the um the synth. Um, yeah, I alter it. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just like I'll, I'll just remove notes rather than add more notes, um, or I'll change the notes um, and stuff like that. And I think it keeps it interesting. Um, so yeah, this one is out on eighth of January. Um, thanks guys for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Um, I'll, it's actually coming out on part of an EP. Um, it's called Risk and Reward. I've not announced that anywhere yet. So you guys are the first to see this, um, the first to hear this. Uh, and yeah, so and it's coming out with four other tunes. Um, yeah, so um, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, please let me know in the comments and get at your boy. And yeah, Merry Christmas. Today's Christmas Eve. Uh, so yeah, or happy holidays um, to everyone uh, watching. And I will see you very shortly. Big up.